is Monday, January 7th, 2019, and... Yay! It's time to go to work on music. It's been a fantastic day. I'm in a really good place and excited for a productive session as usual. Gonna hit the online class front, update, update you guys with what's going on in the Tom Morello Masterclass and the Hardcore Tracking Class. Going to hit a quick drum practice, get a quick content fill in, and then hopefully polish off the mix and final master for the super stupid cover. Just working on a few adjustments, gonna experiment with the vocals a little bit, because just those overcompressed vocals, you know, I really get it for metal, but I don't know, man. I just feel like I had some good dynamics and a good tone with my, the original way I tracked it, and I don't know if I want to mess with that too much. So I'll play around with it, see if I can get it to sit right, and then it's pretty soon going to just be time to move on in the next couple days. So I might do a couple more tweaks, a couple more edits, depending on how this master comes out, but we'll see. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions as we go through the video. Otherwise, I'll update you at the end with what I accomplish. Let's get it! Really good session overall. Uh, a little on the shorter side, unfortunately. I've just had a lot of stuff impacting my time the last couple days as I'm getting a year going with uh, other projects. But in a good spot with this mix for sure. Just making some some really subtle tweaks. It's like you know one two tenths of a dB. All of a sudden changes the mix. I mean that's how you know you got a good balance. It's, it's just gonna be a little painstaking sometimes, and it's tough to make good judgments. Like is it too loud, too soft? Is it just my mind playing tricks on me all of a sudden? You know, it's it's a really intense thing mixing music, and and there's definitely a time to like dig deeper and get it perfect, and then there's a time to be like it's it just is it sounds as good as it's realistically gonna sound. You know, so. Definitely approaching that place, but uh, got into the online class front, and Tom Rowe was talking about some really interesting ideas that he uses during the songwriting process just to make sure that he doesn't interrupt his creative flow. And he was talking about how he likes to just get riff ideas down and just say, like, okay, that's a song, done, next song. And not ever get bogged down working on the details of things when he's demoing out projects, and just keep a lot of momentum going. And I just think it's, it's such a great idea and concept the way he explains it because he's like he's still feeling that excitement that initial excitement that he felt playing in like a punk rock band in his buddy's basement or something like that where like nobody really knew how to play music they just were rocking out you know and having a good time and it's so cool to hear that that spirit still comes through his playing even though he's much more technically accomplished now and is like you know a legit <laughs> certified many times over rock star so it's pretty cool um, anyway, from there, got into the hardcore tracking class, was just watching Jordan finish up some automation moves, no major takeaways there, then got a quick drum practice in, and then, um, just working on improvising to some tunes in my music library, just put it on shuffle play and just play along with something, have fun, and then, uh, jumped into a quick content fill, had to take a phone, well, didn't have to, but took a phone call about some other stuff that's going on outside the music spectrum, and then jumped back into the mix, and, yeah, I was working on the vocal pitch correction, and it just sounded bad, so I just decided to turn it off, and it sounds way better, so, I knew that my takes were good, I, I just felt that depending on how I mixed it, it, it changed, it's just, the relative volume of things makes such a huge difference in the mix, so I ended up just boosting the vocal level a little bit, that helps tremendously, it sounds good right now, I'll uh, put it in mono, I'll AB it, you know, on the bigger monitors tomorrow, I'm just kind of running short on time today, but then I uh, automated down some of the guitar solos, and just realized that, you know, I think they're good where they were, um, I might change the automation at the very end of the track, things get a little loud with the guitar solo, but I think it's just me demoing it on my car stereo, and I love my car that I have right now, but the stereo is like this upgraded stereo, and I think it sucks, it's, it's like possibly worse than the stereo in like my car from 1999, that costs like $3,000, you know what I mean, so I don't know, that's just, I might, might just be living with that, and that just is what it is, but it's like, it's got these tweeters, and it's got this center thing speaker in the dashboard, and it just has so much high end on the system, it's, and the bass is really boomy, so, I don't know, just for finer tuning things, I don't think it's a good gut check at all, but for relative levels of things and stuff like that, it's, it's probably sufficient, so anyway, um, I'm just gonna let things sit where they are for now, I've improved the vocal mix, which is uh, fantastic, and then I'll come back and deal with the solos tomorrow, but I'm really, really close to being completely done with this thing, and I'm really, really happy with the way it's sounding, and it's, it's gonna sound killer when it's done, and more importantly, it just bodes really well for the future of what I'm about to do, because I'm getting really, really close to the emotional and sonic impact that I want to have with my tracks, and that's the sweetest victory that I can imagine. So that's where I'm at today. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are out there running towards your goals and enjoying the process. That is what I'm out here doing. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. Can't wait.